So today I'm going to re re be re so today I'm going to re I cannot say that today. Today I'm going to be reviewing the Urban Decay Sheer Revolution lipsticks. And I have three different colors here, so I'll give you swatches as well. But before we dive into that portion of the video, I just wanted to say welcome. If you are new to my channel, I upload videos Mondays and Fridays, sometimes on beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and motherhood. So please be sure to subscribe to my channel by clicking the red button down below in the corner. And that way you will be sure not to miss any of my upcoming videos. Now that that is out of the way, let's dive into the review. So first thing we have to talk about is the packaging. How cool do these look? Uh, they're just a really pretty metallic violet. They're beautiful, but they also just have a really cool edgy vibe to them as well. They're pretty cool looking. Um, but the three colors that I have are Obsessed, Rapture, and Lady Flower. And I tend to gravitate towards more natural looking colors. And the cool thing about this line is that pretty much every color is in the natural shade of things if i remember right um but i believe all of them are something that i would find wearable um because i don't like to do anything too far out there where makeup is concerned um but i really do love these colors this first one is just this really gorgeous bright light pink um so it's not a neon pink it's kind of more of a light pink but still gives you a little bit of a pop and I'm wearing it right now on my lips and I just find myself reaching for this one all the time. That one was Obsessed and the second one is Rapture and it's more of a nude. It's like a warm, dark, kind of 90-ish color nude, um, but it just looks like that and it's also really pretty. This one is another one I like to wear when I kind of just want to have a more natural your lips but better look, especially if my eye makeup is a little more emphasized. I like to have more of an understated um, lip color and then the last one is this I think this is the prettiest color of all it's um it's a very natural rose colored pink and this one is called lady flower and it's just a really pretty natural looking color whenever I see the word sheer in the name of anything it makes me think of kind of more of a translucent gloss kind of feel but it's not so with these these ha actually have a really satisfactory color payoff they're really pigmented but in kind of a light sort of way and the formula itself is really really hydrating um it actually feels like you're wearing like a lip balm they kind of feel like they're almost in between a lipstick and a lip gloss or balm it's like it's this weird mixture of all three you'd have to try them to really know what i'm talking about but they just really feel comfortable on the lips and they do not dry your lips out at all which i always have the problem with my lipstick flaking especially if it's like a matte but that doesn't happen with these it stays on a really long time my mom is actually stealing mine all the time and i heard her talking on the phone to my grandma telling her that you need to try these lipsticks because they last all day and that's how i found out that she was enjoying my lipsticks as well so i actually got her one of her own for her for christmas actually my favorite color i can't remember if i already said this but my favorite color is obsessed i have been looking for a pink this color for a really long time something that was because my my lips themselves are pretty dark so anything that is light enough to be that light pink that i really wanted would also be too sheer and just show my own lip color through it and not the lipstick color so i really have been enjoying this lipstick because it actually makes my lips a shade lighter and you can really really like i said the pigment on these is really really good um and it actually makes your lips look the color that it says it's going to. So I have really been enjoying these. The last thing I wanted to talk about is price. So Marcus just woke up from his nap and he is going to help me wrap up this video. Um, the last point that I wanted to make about these lipsticks. Do you want to hold one? <laughs> the last point that I wanted to make about these lipstick is the price. These are about $22 each, which is quite expensive and normally I can't afford something like that. But what I like to do when I want to try new products is usually I will wait for Ulta's 21 Days of Beauty, which is an awesome sale. If you guys haven't shopped it yet, you need to. But every few months they will do 
21 days and on a different day of the month they will do half off the high-end makeup product and that's how I got two of these they were only about $11 each that way and the third one I bought at Nordstrom Rack for only $10 a lot of the times you can find the high-end product makeup products there for half of the price so anyways that is the end of this review I hope you guys <laughs> you I hope you guys enjoyed the video please let me know what you thought down in the comments below and give this video a thumbs up I hope you guys are all having a great day and I will see you all in my next video bye <laughs>